Hi, I'm Neil Miller with The Digital Workplace. Raise your hand if your company has talked about going to a hybrid model. Yeah, that's most of us. As companies try to figure out what the future looks like, most of them are using the term hybrid as a substitute for we're still figuring it all out. If we put completely distributed teams on one end of the spectrum and completely in-office teams on the other end, then everything in the middle gets called hybrid. Now let's break down what that middle looks like a little bit more. The core question for figuring out the different types of hybrid work is how you plan to use the office. Pre-pandemic, the physical office was the nucleus of work for most companies. It's the thing around which everything else rotates. The office is where the collaboration happens, where leadership happens, where you figure out if you are achieving your goals or not, where the culture happens. As companies explore hybrid models, they see what happens when that nucleus moves away from the office and towards a digital platform. Now, there are four main types of hybrid models. Let's look at each one of them. Model one, office space with limited flexibility. This is just one step in from a fully in-office culture. The physical office is still the nucleus, but if you have to, you can work from somewhere else. When you are outside the office, you are missing out. Everything continues on without you and you are responsible for figuring out what you missed. Model two, office base with generous flexibility. Now, the physical office is still the nucleus, but you can be home one or two days a week. Working from home is used for getting solo focus work done or things that don't involve a lot of collaboration. Collaboration is still gonna happen inside the office. Model three, digital based with a dedicated office. Now, the nucleus starts to shift away from the office. You might realize that you can run most of your collaboration on a digital platform and only need the office for some specialty situations like kicking off projects. Or you might shift all of your productivity metrics to a digital platform so no one needs to be at the office to know if you are meeting your goals. In this model, the office becomes a feature instead of the nucleus. It can be used strategically for realignments or relationship building or leadership development. Instead of asking, why do you wanna work from home? It asks, why do we need to be together in the office? Model four, digital base with no dedicated office. Here, the team doesn't have a permanent office or it's used very sparingly. All the major systems have been moved to digital platforms. There's still a need for physical space, but it's rented as required. The team might gather together once a month or as little as once a year. Here are a few hot takes on your hybrid business model. First, a shift from model one to two will likely fail over time. The biggest problem is that leaders are not required to change their thinking. In fact, they see it as a compromise. Management wants people in the office, but they also feel like they have to offer some kind of flexibility to keep people from leaving. However, that flexibility is seen as benevolence. People who want to work from home regularly are seen as abusing the system. Eventually, these leaders will get tired and withdraw their gracious offer of freedom and flexibility. Next, Model 2 requires more clarity than most teams are willing to create. Most companies are just blindly offering work from home one or two days a week, but very few are being clear about what that means. Does everyone need to be in the office on the same days? Is there flexibility in what hours you are expected to work and be available? If there is a meeting on a day when someone isn't in the office, how do you hold hybrid meetings? Model 2 can work, but it requires very detailed working agreements and a lot more clarity than leaders are used to providing. Next, different work systems move at different paces. Collaboration and productivity are relatively easy to shift to digital platforms. There are already great tools available that are pretty easy to use. Leadership and culture, however, will trail behind. The people most resistant to hybrid work are those who can never imagine creating team culture outside of a physical space. Next, neither Model 2 or 3 has a lot of good role models. Pre-pandemic, most companies were Model 1, and there were a few Model 4 companies who achieved rockstar status and published a lot of material 
on how to copy their systems. But there is not a lot out there on model two or three. These are brand new models. They require experimentation and learning from mistakes. We are creating the wisdom that we need as we go. Last thing, the key question you need to ask is where is the boss? This is the most effective way to tell which model you are in. If the boss is in the office every day, you're in model one. If the boss is in the office most days, you're in model two. If the boss hardly ever shows up, then you're in model three or four. Actions speak louder than words. If you want to be a truly hybrid company, the boss has to commit to not being in the office every day. Now there's no perfect hybrid work model. Each one has its benefits and drawbacks. But if you just say, hey, we're going to do hybrid and leave it at that, everyone will suffer. Give as much clarity as you can, but also admit that adjustments are inevitable. To find more great resources on your transition to hybrid work, go to thedigitalworkplace.com slash hybrid work.